I am an um, undergraduate sociology and politics student. Um, understanding that earlier today you put a lot of blame on the deans being responsible for department cuts, and it should also be noted that the DC and the KC's cuts firsthand with their overall budget. Also, what is your commitment as an EBC candidate in providing the campus with reliable and accurate information and correcting yourself when wrong? Considering BBC's clear inaccurate accusal of Cubs and Knives and your own claim of 100% attendance in the sciences on March 4th. So there were many parts of that question for me to come back and, and remind me of, of um, ones that I missed. I think it is certainly true that the, the deans play an extremely important role in working with department chairs to ensure, for example, sufficient curricular capacity in the majors. Um, we do have a decentralized um, budget model on this campus where the deans hold all of the cards. The EBC's role is to help establish um, campus-wide standards and priorities that can be rolled out to the deans to let them know what's important as they think about how to do their jobs. So for example, um, in my own division, I have essentially on my own decided on certain metrics that I look at it, the curriculum as being our highest priorities. One of those is that I, I do believe we have a commitment to educating a quarter of the, the credit hours on this campus. We have about a quarter of the resources. And so even as our resources shrink, um, we can't simply cut back on the number of students that we educate. We also have a very strong priority in my division in looking at continuation and progress toward degree and trying to ensure that the, the core pieces of the curriculum that are most directly relevant, both in the service and major courses, to keeping people moving toward their degree are protected. As I say, those are principles that are established at the, the divisional level, at the decanum level, which I then discuss and roll out to the chairs. I think that there is a role for the EBC in helping work with the deans to establish those kinds of principles on a campus-wide level. I don't, however, believe that it is um, probably ever appropriate for an EBC to reach down into a department and say, these are the classes you need to teach in this order in these classrooms. Um, the EBC can only hold the deans accountable. Other pieces of your, your question. Um, I do believe that the EBC has a, an important role to play in communicating with the campus across a broad range of issues, not just the budgetary issues that have been um, so much in our minds, but about um, the, the more, both the good times and the bad, and talking, helping to facilitate the conversations that we have about our core mission and the direction that the campus chooses to go. How those conversations take place um, depends on the, the particular topics that that we're looking at. Sometimes a discussion forum is, is the best way to do it. Sometimes um, emails may be correct. Perhaps we have a role for greater use of, of technologies like Facebook um, to have a more interactive communication um, with the students. And I can't say today exactly um, how my communication strategy in, in helping um, to talk to the students would change um, from previous strategies. Um, I think that as we talk about campus culture, uh, I mean, one of the, the challenging concerns for us will be to, to think about how we talk about the various kinds of unrest that have um, been evident on the campus for many years, certainly all the years that I've been dean in one form or another. Um, I think that there will always, I, I, I don't want to suggest that I want to, um, to get to a point where this campus is no longer uh, a site of vigorous and active protest activity it has always been a part of this campus. I do hope that we find ways to, to talk about the, the ways that protests occur. Um, I was very heartened, for example, by the, the activities last weekend in San Francisco um, around the DREAM Act, at which, as many of you know, a number of our students were arrested. That protest, I think, was a very effective and very textbook almost example of civil disobedience targeting uh, an audience that actually had some um, something to say in the future of the dream act um, civil behavior without resistance to the arrests 
and they achieved their goals of getting a great deal of publicity for um, their activities. And I, I think that helping to steer this campus back toward that tradition of civil um, disobedience instead of uncivil disobedience is certainly part of what I'm talking about when I say attention.